everyone. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carol, the Thrifty Chic Housewife. If you enjoy the content you find here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, I also have links in the description box below to all of my social media, and I would love for you to join me there. So today we're going to do something a little bit different, and I'm really excited to share this with you. We're going to do a little bit of a daily vlog, if you will. My sister and my niece are flying in from Texas for a visit, and I wanted to do something special for them for lunch. So we are going to do a fun fall tea party. Now, if you've been around my channel very long, I did post another tea party that I did for my sister's birthdays. And um, tea parties are something I'm known for. And I just think that they're so fun and it's something special to do for the people that you care about. So uh, we're going to do that today, but we're not going to make it very formal. They're, they are going to have been on a flight for a number of hours before they get here. So it's going to be kind of a casual tea, but I'm going to make it fun. But my twist is going to be, and something that I thought you all would be interested in, is we are going to take a lot of help from our home can pantry. And I'm going to be using a lot of things that we have canned through the last several months and we're going to put a quick lunch together. So you guys are always asking me how can I use the things that we can up. So today I'm going to show you how to do a really quick but fun lunch and um, using all the wonderful things that we've canned with some of the flavors of fall. So we're going to make it tasty. We're going to make it fun. Hopefully this will give you some ideas of ways that you can use some of the things in your home can pantry. Having a canning pantry is fantastic because you have access to a number of things that you can put together really quickly for a quick meal. So that's what we're going to do today. So with it being a tea, we're going to be stick to some traditional things and then we're going to do some things that are not so traditional. So for tea, you always have tea and you always have scones, right? So I'm going to be throwing together some scones. And usually with scones, you have uh, clotted cream or mock Devonshire cream, which is what I usually make. But today, instead of doing that, I'm going to use pumpkin dip and I shared my recipe for this over on Facebook but I will leave the information in the description box for you on how to make it so we're going to use that instead I'm also going to put out some apple butter and the delicious raspberry chocolate sauce that we canned up I thought that that would be fantastic with our scones and then we'll also have some ginger snaps uh, usually with teas you have nice little finger foods so we're gonna throw in some ginger snaps that will be great for dipping in the pumpkin dip and then I'm going to have for my tea sandwiches, we're gonna do traditional cucumber sandwiches. You can't have a tea without cucumber sandwiches, but I'm also going to do barbecue pulled pork quesadillas. We're gonna do little mini quesadillas um, with our barbecue pulled pork. I know a number of you have been canning that and loving it, and I think that that will go really well with kind of the star of our show, and that's going to be our black bean soup, and we just canned this up last week. Showed you how to make that from the Amish canning cook book so that's going to be kind of be our main thing is the soup and then we'll have the barbecue pork quesadillas and the um, cucumber tea sandwiches then I'm also going to do a little relish tray with my zesty bread and butter pickles I'm going to put out some of the fiery peach salsa that will be delicious for dipping with uh, tortilla chips um, and it's also fantastic in black bean soup if you want to use it that way and then also some of the salsa verde that we made a week or so ago I'm going to be putting some of that out as well and then for dessert I'm going to do throw together really quickly some mini butter bundt cakes this is really easy to do I will leave the link or not the link I will leave the directions in the description box because it's super simple to do and I'm going to use a bundt a mini bundt cake pan we're going to make mini bundt cakes and I'm going to put in a little couple spoons of our apple pie filling into the little butt part and then I'm going to drizzle it with our apple cider caramel sauce that I made and shared with you just a few days ago so this is going to be really fun I think and um, very fallish and it's also relevant to you guys because it's with all the things that we've been canning up recently so I have about an hour and a half to get my table set and to get everything ready so let's get started
Okay guys, I am all set. I got everything done. The table is all set and we have scones. We have the um, little cucumber sandwiches. Uh, I'll make the quesadillas once they get here. My soup is warm and everything is all ready to go. I'm so excited to see them. I cannot wait. A tea party is a great way to celebrate the ones you love. Using your home canned pantry makes it even more special. So get out that fine china and the crystal and make any day a special occasion. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I will leave all the links in the description box for all of my recipes and I will see you next time.